many times I talk to my clients about avoiding the word don't. I don't want to push you. It sounds like I want to push you because we don't know how to process the word don't. Mm -hmm. I just use don't in that sentence. So how do you get around that? Are they actually processing the negative? Because or it's just like in a trucking company, we won't or we don't damage your goods. Suddenly, oh, damage, hadn't thought about that. And that's what right. they think of. Yes. So how does that work with the negative, with the contrast? It's working all right? It, well, their research would indicate uh -huh. this is powerful. Mm -hmm. Now, I suspect, because you're right in telling your clients not to use the word don't, except that I think in this application, this is how I would interpret it, mm -hmm. I believe that what they're saying is you use don't for what you already believe might be the other person's feeling about the matter. So again, it's a sort of form of empathy. Okay. So you're not planting something, you're making your best guess at how somebody might feel knowing who that person is. And so you're saying to them, I really don't want to cause you harm, or I really don't want to challenge your competence. Oh, I might have to say that to my husband. He, he automatically believes in many cases that a question is a challenge. So if I predict that, I would stop and say, you know, before I ask you this question, I want to assure you I don't want to challenge you. All I really want to do is find out a, a new bit of information that I didn't know. I just want to find out something. That's it. So I think it's different in that way. You're not really planting something new. You're acknowledging that they might feel otherwise if you don't deliberately say, please don't feel that way because it's not what I'm up to.